Hey friends, this is your friend Risha, and today we're going to be creating another app in Code.Art, App Lab. But this app is going to be a little different, because um, I'm just going to show you guys the code, but I'm also going to show you guys something, like a little bit about the design. So, let's get started. The like I told you, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the design. The little bit about the design is that we're going to have seven labels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two buttons. Start button and stop button. So, before we get started with the code again, I want to tell you guys that this app has a special purpose. So, the purpose is that this app is going to convert the showering duration, the minutes of showering duration, into the water used liters. So, it's going to convert the minutes of shower used to, of, um, to water used. And remember that one minute equals five liters. I'm telling you guys to remember this because we wouldn't need that one part of the code. So, yeah. Now let's get started with our code for the app. First, I'm going to get an uneven block for the start button. Uneven start is click. We're going to create variables. We're going to go to variables and get three of these first blocks. And something else is that when you have two, three, four words together, two, two or more words together, unless your first word's first letter, all the other words' first letter has to be capital. Only the first letter. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. So my first variable is going to be named this. Minutes and that's going to equal to zero. My second variable is going to be this play seconds, it's going to equal to zero, two. My third variable has three words in it. Um, and it's going to be this play water used. Okay. And it's also going to be zero. Now we need time loops from control. If you scroll down, you could find them in control. And we need two of them because we need one for minutes and one for seconds. So in time loop, Everything goes by milliseconds. So if you can't type in one second or one minute, you just have to type everything in milliseconds. So 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. So 60,000 milliseconds is going to equal to 60 seconds, which is one minute. So we're going to just put the milliseconds for the first time with the same. But for the second one, we're going to change it to 60 thousand many seconds to get one minute now let's get start coding with our first time loop in the first time loop first we need one of the third block in variables i'm going to copy display seconds all right display seconds equals display seconds plus one now we're going to go to UI controls and get set test. We need three of those set tests. Three. Three. Okay, you see these labels here, like LBO minutes. LBO means the sh is the short form of labels. So that's why instead of writing a whole word, they just wrote LBO. So LBO minutes. LBO seconds and LBO water used. So the IDs are going to be that. LBO minutes, LBO seconds, and LBO water used. Okay. First text, we're just going to 
we, we wouldn't need the quotes because if you put the quotes, it's going to became a string or a saying. So we're just going to delete the text word and the code. Instead of that, we're going to copy, for the first one, we're going to copy this by seconds and put it in the box. Second one, copy this by seconds. Sorry, sorry. For the first one, copy this by minutes. And then for the second one, copy this by seconds. Oopsie daisy, sorry for that. And for the third one, we're gonna go ahead and get display water used. Get it. Good. Now let's do the code for our second time loop and one minute time loop. For this time loop, we're gonna get the third block from variable. Copy display minutes and say display minutes equals three minutes plus one next we're gonna we would need one more of that same block and i'm gonna say copy display seconds and say three seconds well it's space display seconds equals zero now we're gonna get one more of that same block and say display water used equals display water used let's redo that a little bit let's put it down here display water used equals display water used plus five it is plus five okay the reason we are doing plus five because like i told you one minute equals five liters so when it gets to one minute you have to add five to display what are used variable so that's why we're doing this now let's create an uneven block for our stop button we're gonna go to right controls get on event stop button you can also pick it but i'm just gonna write it and we're gonna gonna go to we're gonna let's go to control and get stop time loop now this is gonna be really easy because we just need one block in here if you get one block all the time loop is gonna stop so that's why i go stop time loop now it's the fun exciting happy part go ahead and try your let's do it and click on run start okay i'm gonna wait for you guys until it gets to 60 seconds because i want to show you guys what happens I want you guys to see what happens when it gets to one minute. Like how it's gonna, we're gonna have five liters. I want that to happen. I'm just gonna leave it like this so you guys could watch it. Okay, did you see that? How we got five liters. So that's what I wanted you guys to see. Now let's try to stop it. It stopped. So you can name it to anything, but I just named it to Project 13. You can share your happiness and your app to your friends, your family. You can copy the link or you could 
um, sent to a phone. So, I hope you guys had fun making this app. Remember to subscribe my channel and ring the bell button for more notifications. Bye! See you guys next time!